you ever been in a boat before? I've been in a boat. This is uh, my kayak and I also have a canoe and I've been lots of great places with my canoe. One of the things I really enjoy about canoeing and kayaking is seeing wildlife that God has created. Once I went on a big trip up to Algonquin, Canada and I saw a heron that was going right in front of my canoe. And then later on I saw a moose in the water and watched it for a really long time. That was really fun. Another place I've been is Clater Lake at my brother's house. And there I saw a green heron. And then I saw some turtles and some other really cool things in the water too. And I've been to Dryden Lake. Maybe some of you have been there. And I saw some ducks. And then at Stewart Park I saw an osprey. And that was really cool. What other kinds of animals live near the water? Let's go on a canoe ride or a kayak ride today and see where we can find some of my Beanie Baby friends that live near the water. Are you ready for a kayak ride? See if you can find some of my Beanie Baby friends that are hidden. Oh look, did you see the dragonfly sitting right on top of the kayak? And there's a mosquito. See if we can find some more Beanie Babies. Oh, who is that? There's a beaver. He lives near the water. What's this guy? Oh, there's a little pelican. Oh, that's a sea turtle. Did you see the frog? How about the whale? Did you see the whale in the water? Oh, there's a duck. How many of these did you find? This guy looks kind of like a heron or a big bird of some kind. There's another frog. Did you see the bright green frog? There's a penguin. Did you see him? This looks like an alligator. Gotta watch out for them. And then here's a teeny tiny little crab. He was hard to see. How many of those Beanie Baby friends did you find? Did you have fun finding my Beanie Baby friends? Well, now it's time to go fishing. Have you ever gone fishing? This is my fishing pole. And I'm going to go fishing right now. Here we go. Have to be really patient when you're fishing. And really quiet too. Don't talk too loud. Mm. I think I got a bite. Let's see what it is. Oh, oh, what is it? Oh, look at that. Look what I found. It's a beanie fish. Today's Bible story is going to tell about a time that Peter went fishing after Jesus had risen from the dead. Do you remember the miracle of how Jesus rose from the dead? Do you remember who Peter was? He was one of Jesus' disciples. My Bible gives this story the title of Jesus and the Miraculous Catch of Fish. See if you can figure out why. This story is found in John 21 verses 1 to 23. Today I'll read the story from my first study Bible. The story in this book is called Our Last Breakfast. I love to fish. In fact, a long time ago I made my living by fishing and then I met Jesus. I'm Peter. I would like to tell you about my last fishing trip. One time after Jesus rose from the dead, I went fishing with some of other Jesus disciples. We fished all night and did not catch a thing. Then the sun started to shine and we still had not caught anything. Then a man on the shore yelled to us, Children, have you any food? No, we told him. Cast the net on the right side of the boat and you will find some, he called back. We fished all night 
and now caught a fish. And he told us to cast the net on the other side of the boat, on the right side, and we'd catch fish. Could this man be right? Well, we took the man's advice and we threw the net over the other side of the boat. And as soon as we threw it in the water, the net was filled with so many fish, over 150 fish. There were so many fish, we could not even get the net into the boat. John turned to me and said, it is the Lord. And then we knew why we'd caught so many fish. Do you remember Jesus and some of his other amazing miracles? John did not have to tell me twice. Soon I was out of the boat and swimming to the shore. Jesus had already started a fire and was cooking some bread with fish on it. I helped the others bring the fish to the shore. Come and eat breakfast, Jesus said, and we were hungry. After breakfast, Jesus and I had a talk. Peter, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, I said, you know that I love you. Feed my lambs, Jesus said. Jesus turned to me again. Peter, do you love me? Yes, Lord, I said. You know that I love you. Tend my sheep, Jesus said. Jesus was still not through. Peter, do you love me? It hurt that Jesus had to ask me three times. Lord, you know all things, I said. You know that I love you. Feed my sheep, Jesus said again. Three times I had denied knowing Jesus before his crucifixion. And now three times I had told him that I loved him. I spent the rest of my life telling people about Jesus and following him. When you're given instructions, do you obey without questioning? Peter did and he didn't know the man who was giving the instructions at the time. He was very glad he obeyed when he caught so many fish. You will be glad when you obey Jesus too. One important way that we can follow and obey Jesus is to obey our parents. Can anyone tell me what special day it is today? On the count of three, I want you to say it nice and loud, and I'll see if I can hear you all the way over here in my kayak. Are you ready? One, two, three. Yes, it's Mother's Day. Did you make your mother a card or do something special with her today, or will you do something special later? One of the best ways that you can show your mother how much you care for her is to obey her. Next time she asks you to do something, you can drop what you're doing right away and go and help her right away with what she's asked you to do. This is a great way to show how much you care for and love her. And when you obey your parents, you also show Jesus how much you love him. Now I'm in my house and I got away from those black flies. That's the one thing about going in a canoe or kayak. Often you uh, deal with things like flies and mosquitoes, but it's worth it all just to be able to be out in nature and see God's wonderful creation. Well, now I'm gonna ask you some questions about the Bible story. I'm gonna show you some pictures in my first study Bible. And this is the Bible that I read out of before my first study Bible, exploring God's word on my own. So I'm gonna show you some pictures that will go along with this uh, review session and they will give you a little hint about what the answer might be. So you can pause the video after each question and tell your answer to your parents. The first question is, who was Peter? Did you say he was one of Jesus' disciples? One of Jesus' followers? You're right. What happened when Peter and the disciples fished all night? 
That's right, they didn't catch anything. What did Jesus tell them to do? Yes, he told them to cast the net on the right side of the boat. How many fish did they catch? Did you remember over 150 fish? What category does this miracle fall under? Yes, that was a tricky question. It's power over nature. It showed that Jesus has power over nature in this amazing miracle. What did Jesus do with the disciples next? Yes, he cooked breakfast for them. What did Jesus ask Peter? Yes, he said, do you love me? And how did Peter respond? He said, you know that I love you. What did Peter tell, what did Jesus tell Peter to do? He told him to feed his sheep and then later on told him to follow him. What two things did Jesus tell Peter? That's right. He said to follow and to feed. How can you follow Jesus? Well, you can do the things that please God, like reading the Bible, praying, obeying his commands. How can you feed God's sheep? You can feed God's sheep by taking care of others and follow Jesus by obeying him. You did a great job answering these questions. Here's a picture of Peter following Jesus. So now we're going to take a look at our Bible verse for today. Our Bible verse tells us some things that Jesus said to Peter and that apply to us today as well. I'll read it to you and then you can say it with me. You ready? Do you truly love me? Feed my sheep. Follow me. John 21, 16, 17, and 22. Okay, now you can say it with me. Do you truly love me? Feed my sheep. Follow me. John 21, 16, 17, and 22. Do you love Jesus? I sure do. I don't know about you, but how do you think that we can feed God's sheep? Well, I don't know about you, but I don't have any sheep at my house. My neighbor does though, and I've noticed that those sheep eat a lot of grass in their yard and they eat a lot of hay and that my neighbors have to spend a lot of time and energy to take good care of them. So what do you think Jesus meant when he told Peter to feed his sheep? Well, I think that he meant that he wanted Peter to take care of the people that God loved. You see, Jesus would call his followers his sheep. Jesus is the good shepherd and we're his sheep. And so he wanted Peter to be able to take care of other people that love Jesus. And he wants us to do the same thing. He wants us to be kind 
and show how we can love Jesus by serving others. Let's pray. Dear Lord, please show us how we can feed your sheep and follow you. Help us to care for our brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, grandparents, and others that we know. Especially help us to obey our mothers right away when they ask us to do something this week and today. Please help us to follow you better as we read the Bible, pray, and do the things that please you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for praying with me. So now I'm going to tell you about the family game for this week. And the description is on the end of this video, on the description part of the video. And the game is called, Do You Love Me? And in this game, one of you is going to get a chance to be Jesus and give a command. And then the other members in your family get to follow out in that command. So Jesus might say something like, Do you love me? And then the family members are going to respond, Yes, we love you. And then they're going to do what Jesus asked them. He might say something, Then pick up your room. And then everybody's going to pantomime or act out picking up their room. And then Jesus will do another thing. And you can sit down with your parents before you play the game and write down little things on an index card of ways that you think you can please Jesus this week. So I hope you have fun playing that family game with your family. And I hope that all of you have a great day celebrating with your mother. And we will see you all next week, okay? Bye!